Regrettably, we've had to come to strike action because uh, a lot of our members are being failed their pay progression. And in, in, in the present uh, climate, with teachers' salaries lagging 25% behind where they were five years ago, people can't afford that. And they shouldn't have been denied their pay progression. Their appraisers told them that they'd passed and the governing body have decided to overturn that. And that's not acceptable to us. They've been given targets that they can't achieve. Uh, it, it's become impossible. They no longer have faith in the management of the place that they will ever get a pay rise again. And we, th I don't, we don't know why they're doing it. They've got good policies of this place, and if they stuck to their policies, we wouldn't be on a, a picket line. Very, very damaging to morale, as you can imagine. These are, I mean, there's a maths teacher over there, believe it or not, who, who I think got eight stars for every one of her pupils last year. And she's on that picket line because she no longer trusts them. You know, and that, that's, that's what we've got to, because nobody believes they'll get a pay rise next year because they've gone back on their word on so many things. We've got people here who've got mortgages to pay. And if they don't get their pay rise this year or next year, there's a knock-on effect forever. You know, that's the £1,000 behind or so this year, same next year, same next year, knock-on effect on the pension. And that's what they're doing to these people. You might not see much on for one occasion, but it's a huge loss over the years. There isn't one person there who wouldn't rather be in that classroom actually teaching the children today. But we've got a, a management who won't stick to their own policies, who's, who's have forced them into this situation by just sheer cussedness, sheer refusal to, uh, to, to, to stick to what they should be doing. I mean, the average teaching hours of a teacher now is 60 hours, and that's, that's ridiculous. And in schools like this, where they're putting on that sort of pressure and giving them impossible targets to work for, that's what drives that ridiculous workload. But in the end, you end up with broken teachers, and broken teachers don't do the best for pupils, to be honest.